back. All right, well, make sure you have your passport ready. Hopefully our next guest inspires you to plan your next trip. That's right. Travel expert and author Deidre Mathis is joining us now. Welcome back to the show. Good Thank to you. see you. Good to see you again. And I hear that uh, congratulations are in order because this year you completed a really big milestone. Yes, so I completed all seven continents. So I got the chance to travel to Argentina um, and fly out to cruise. Uh, so yes, that's a lot to get to Antarctica, but it was well worth all of that travel. That's amazing. <laughs> Yes. How did the love of travel even just start with you? So I studied abroad in college. I went to the Dominican Republic and I had always heard about the travel bug, but I never actually thought I could get it, but I absolutely got it. And uh, by the time I graduated undergrad, I had visited six countries in graduate school. I got to go live in India and study. Um, and then I actually went to South Korea to teach English abroad. So anytime an opportunity came for me to travel internationally, I took it. I love it. Look at these pictures of you all <laughs> over Thailand. I was just there oh, in, yes, in October. Thailand. I love that country. I've Great place. Um, I, 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 I get this uh, quite a bit. I, I'm, I'm jealous you got all seven continents. <laughs> and do you know your country total right now? 38. 38. So 38. So right. I'm at 38 countries, all seven continents. Um, I'm actually uh, living in Houston right now, getting ready to open up a hostel there. So my travels have halted for the year, um, but I do plan to resume hopefully next summer. What I love, Deidre, is that you just <laughs> said that you were traveling while you were a student. Yes. And I think most people think, well, we can't travel until we're retired and yes. we've accumulated so much money. How do you do that? I mean, what's, what's your secret? Sure. So that's a very great question. So I wrote a whole book about it, Wonderless for the young broke professional because there are so many opportunities for young people. For example, I spoke about studying abroad. So many universities are practically giving money away for students to go to other countries and study. Um, and they're just being very vocal about my passion for travel. So uh, I told people that I wanted to go abroad. People told me about opportunities in South Korea to teach English. Um, so just always letting people know that you're really passionate about traveling and finding a way to get people to pay for it because there are so many ways to get yeah. that done. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Uh, that, that's one way. I, I'm I'm only 10 countries behind you. I'm okay. at 28. Perfect. But I'm a two. I'm like at least two continents or more. Oh, I still got to get to Australia. Good. Okay. Um, but which uh, I always when when I talk to friends and stuff, we talk about like which one would you move to? Which one? <laughs> if you had one place you could go back to, and you can't go back to any others, which which place are you going back That's to? That's always such a hard question. That's like asking a parent, which child is your favorite? But I would say uh, New Zealand, I've been about three times. I lived there for about eight weeks and I absolutely fell in love with that country. Got a tattoo in that country, skydived in that country. Okay. I just absolutely love New Zealand. So I can absolutely see me going there and nowhere else if I absolutely had to. All right. I have friends who <laughs> have traveled alone and you as a woman, you've traveled alone. Yes. What What are some tips that you would give women who, who uh, aspire to do that? Absolutely. So I've done about 14 countries solo and I actually prefer it. I mean, I tell people just do the same things you would do here. You wouldn't walk around late at night with all your very expensive jewelry or very expensive electronics, don't do it abroad. And if you're traveling solo, let your hotel know that you're traveling solo. Mm -hmm. People will look out for you because they've looked out for me. And so if you tell them, hey, I'm going to XYZ, I should be back around 10. If you're not there, they'll be looking for you and making calls. I mean, also letting your friends and family know back home where you'll be going. So I usually send out an itinerary to let people know these are the things I'm doing today. This is where I'll be. So if God forbid something should happen, they at least know where I was. But it very is safe. It is possible. And I love that you're that you're doing that because my wife uh, went and did the woofing program. Program, oh, nice. Uh, in I know Europe all about for, it. Yeah, for yes. eight or nine months. Have you, have you done that? One? I have not, but it's very popular travel. in Australia. Yes. Such very, a great way to travel. Oh, cheap. absolutely. Absolutely. And I highly recommend that. Yeah, because that's one of the things when people say you travel, you got you know, your room and board yes. and your food and stuff. But when you're woofing, they yeah, provide all they that. They provide all that for you for yeah. free. Well, and not you, for free. You have to work in exchange for, yeah. you know, room and board. But hey, it's still a great, great value. Yeah. yeah. It, was, uh, it, it, it was a great. It was great for her. She went and did it, and I got to chase her all over Europe <laughs> while she did it. Um, so top advice on traveling, uh, you know, do you use a bunch of different travel apps? What's your what's your secret? So the airlines that I swear by are Southwest for uh, local and short distance international and Delta for all international. So I have credit cards for both of those airlines. And when, every day when I make small purchases, those points just add up. So I fly quite often for free, just using my points. Um, but I, I, I really tell people, my biggest advice is just to do it. 
So don't wait until you're older. Don't wait until you feel like you have all the money saved up because something's always going to come up. Mm -hmm. Do it now. Even yep. if you can't take a gap year like I did when I finished my master's, take a gap week. Take a yep. gap month. Just find the time. Traveling can be so super cheap. Now there's cruises. There's uh, websites like Cheapo Air, CheapTickets.com, uh, TheFlightDeal.com, which I swear by. I went to Kenya for $400 using that website. There's so many ways to travel for cheap. Just do it now. Don't wait. Quickly, if yes. somebody is inspired by this, <laughs> but they're a little nervous, what's the first country you would say, go there, it's easy? Gosh, it's such a, you know, the first country that popped in my head when you said that was Costa Rica. Mm. Um, I lived in Costa Rica for a little bit. Super, super fun, super safe, Pura Vida. Yep. They're all about community, close-knit, so definitely not a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you can stay in luxury for not a lot of money yeah. at all. That's super important, so Costa Rica. There you go. Yeah, Very we're going cool. to Costa Rica. Thanks Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much. Check out Deidre's website. It's DeidreMathis.com.